Hey, Steve here with Cardiac Cycling. Join Kelly and me as we visit a Harvest Host Brew Winerant. Brewery, winery, and restaurant. And then head on over to Gettysburg Battlefield National Park for some cycling the next day. Stay with us. We arrived at our destination at dinner time and they had a pretty good crowd outside already waiting for their turn to get in and eat. We got parked and then placed our takeout order. It's still COVID times and if you've watched my story, you know I'm a high risk person, so it's takeout for us. We spent the night backed up to a field of beans. Not quite as far as you could see, but a big field of beans. With some time on our hands before our order would be ready, we went for a walk and because of the outside dining situation, we were pretty much restricted to the parking lot as we stretched our legs while passing some times. Finally, Kelly went in to pick up our order. You say you need help? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that. I think you got a problem. <laughs> I notice you're putting those over your bed. So, so you can sneak them in the middle of the night. Yep, and chunk them at you. So here's what I got. Front porch orange cream soda. It's supposed to taste like a dream sickle. I got a Cuban panini. We'll see how this guy looks. Pork, ham, looks all right. And what did you get? I got a turkey burger. Let's see here. Cajun. I think you might have hit the jackpot. Mm. Oh man, wow. A dream sickle that just is already melted in your mouth. This is, this is fantastic. Can't say much for the sandwich. <laughs> it wasn't that great. <laughs> Kelly really, she scored. Yep, I'm she good. scored with her sandwich. <laughs> but I, I, I scored with this, and I got three more. How you like yours? Well, I've eaten three fourths of it, so it's pretty good. <laughs> plus, plus. <laughs> Well, over half fries. your fries and my passion fruit lemongrass IPA it was pretty good a nice balance of flavors that was a nice little belt you had there yep <laughs> <laughs> it's only 6.6 percent .6 alcohol what the belch or the beer no either one take your pick And now we say farewell to Windridge Farms as we prepare to make our way over to Gettysburg to visit Gettysburg Battlefield National Park. It's gonna be about a one hour drive over there, but we're gonna shorten that quite a bit for the purpose of this video. And voila, here we are. We're at three miles from downtown Gettysburg. We're actually going to reach the park entrance a bit before that. There are two entrances to the visitor center. There's one on the east side of town and there's another one on the southern side of town. Now we have a choice. We can be a car or we can be an RV. With a 21 foot van, you can be either one of those. And technically, we are both. We chose the RV parking lot because, well, look here. It is empty. Now that was not true of the automobile, the regular car parking lot that thing was really full. There were a lot of people in the park that day. And the weather was, well, it wasn't bad. It was overcast, the temperatures were cool, and there was a little drizzle every now and then. When we took off, it was nice and dry. Now you can see we're wearing bright colors. I'm in orange and Kelly's wearing a yellow windbreaker sleeveless vest. We also have lights on our bicycles, both tail lights as well as headlights. 
And when we're cycling on the road, we use those lights regularly. They are a great safety feature. Now, if you're not an experienced cyclist, doing what we're gonna be doing here is uh, probably not something you're gonna to wanna to try. We are on the roads with cars, and there is one area where you have to go to the north side of town. And to get over to the north side of town, you have to go through the center of the town, which means that you are with the traffic for quite a ways. You'll see here in some of these shots, if you are uncomfortable riding in traffic, you just don't wanna do it. So don't wanna discourage people from riding their bikes on the auto tour, but do wanna caution you if it's not something that you're used to doing, riding with live traffic, you may wanna reconsider. You'll also notice that the terrain in the park is varied. It is not flat. It's not completely hilly. There are some hills, without a doubt, some that are challenging to climb. It is a beautiful ride. We took our time. I think it was a bit over two hours for us. So, you know, we averaged about 10 miles an hour. We weren't in a hurry, as you can see here, just kind of lollygagging around, and that was a flat section. Um, one of the nice things about climbing hills, at the top of every hill is a downhill. For the most part, sometimes you get a hill top and you look up and there's another hill to climb with very little rest. And speaking of downhills, this is a nice one here. And as I come downhill, you can see there are a multitude of monuments in the park. Monuments recognizing the different groups that were there, the different battalions, the different regiments, the places where troops were located during the Battle of Gettysburg. There are monuments for the fallen. Um, in fact, one of the most elaborate monuments is in recognition of those who fought in the Battle of Gettysburg, whose home state was Pennsylvania. It kind of uh, makes a lot of sense since Gettysburg is in Pennsylvania. Now I wanted to leave this next clip in because it shows that people visit the park using all forms of transportation. Kelly and I on our bicycles, a lot of people in their cars, and there were a number of folks who were out hiking, like these three gentlemen on our left here. So one of them there was uh, seemed quite knowledgeable. He was telling the other two what had happened in the battle at that particular location. And so just a bit of the facts surrounding the Battle of Gettysburg. It was fought July the 1st through the 3rd inclusive in the year 1863. It was in and around the town of Gettysburg. And this was the battle of the American Civil War. In fact, the Battle of Gettysburg ended the Confederacy, the Southern States, last full-scale invasion of the North. It seemed to all that this was the beginning of the end. In fact, it's been referred to by many as the high water mark. There were 3,155 people who died in the Battle of Gettysburg. It's estimated between 46,000 and 50,000 soldiers from both the Northern and Southern armies were casualties during the battle. Now the red brick building that we're approaching now was used as a hospital during the war. And as we make the turn, uh, you can just see the plethora of monuments here just in this one section of the park. Now as we make the turn on the right hand side, you can see an old farmhouse, cannons. I don't know how many cannons there are that are here in the park. 
It would be an interesting fact. If anyone knows, if you want to leave that information in the comments, that would be great. I'm sure if somebody looked it up on the internet, it could be found. One of the interesting things in this next clip is the variety of different monuments that are left here. Some that are just plaques, some that are statues. In fact, you can see here on the right-hand side, there's a statue. On the left side up ahead, there is a spire. There are a number of spires that are there. And if you look off to the right, just ahead of, well, you can't see it now. Kelly's obscured it. There's a statue of someone on a horse. There are a few of those in the park. Not just a few, but actually quite a few. And then the National Cemetery. A very somber place. And that's where we called it a day. Returning back to the van, hopped off our bikes, we pulled out the lawn chairs, had our lunch, and then the nice thing about traveling in a van, we've got a shower in there. You can see we've got the awning out, it had started to rain a little bit. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay well. We hope to see you somewhere on the road, either on your bike or in your RV. Again, thanks for watching. If you enjoy what you see on this channel, please click the subscribe button.